This video is about when to throw in the towel. I don't carry a towel. You don't throw in the towel. When you throw in the towel, you don't learn. When you say you can't do it, leave, because you can't. It's okay to learn. The only way to learn is to get on it. You can spend a little extra time on something you're not familiar with. It takes you seven hours, and at the end of it all, you know it should only probably it took you three. You can bill your customer for three. And now you know. That's how you learn. If you want to bill your customer for seven, you still learn, but they probably won't call you back. Hey, but seriously, when I started in the trade, I started with a company that did uh, just about everything. Uh, we did all of the Hardee's restaurants and, and lots of big buildings. So the first job was an exhaust fan, then we would leave and go to a, a French fry freezer. We would leave and go work on a shake machine, an ice cream freezer, a fryer hood, air conditioning equipment, chillers, boilers. I was swimming. Helpers on your way to the next job. All that stuff that was going to get thrown in the trash can from the parts you just put in. Put that in your pocket. It's an old fashioned thing called reading. When you're sitting in the passenger seat of the truck, read the instructions from beginning to end, even the dumb stuff, even the stuff you already know. And you'll pick up things and learn. But Days of somebody doing, you know, you got companies that do heating and air conditioning. You got companies that do refrigeration. Some companies say that they do both. Be careful, not all do. An air conditioning guy is not a refrigeration guy. A refrigeration guy is not an air conditioning guy. Yes, they're the same, but it takes some gel in up here to really be a master at both. And if you're not, don't be afraid to say so. It's a whole lot better than fixing something with band-aids and a hammer than what you're gonna look like and what people are gonna say about you. All right, so look. Um, then you got commercial equipment, residential equipment. Two different animals. Same thing, but there's some things that need to be learned. And then you got levels of commercial. Stuff that's really residential, but it's in a strip mall, so we're gonna call it commercial. Rooftop equipment, which is sometimes sitting on the ground. Packaged units, all the way up to chillers and boilers that you can walk inside of and they have ladders inside of them after you go into the air conditioning. It's very rare nowadays, and there's a lot of guys out there that can still do it all, but the numbers are starting to dwindle. We're really starting to get into a time when people do heating and air conditioning, but they will fix your refrigeration. Or they do do residential, but they'll come and look at your commercial equipment. Not everybody can do that. I can. There's a lot of people that can. But you don't get there by throwing in the towel, okay? So. Do I ever throw in the towel? I really can't say I've ever thrown in the towel. But there are things that I will tell people, it's not my area of expertise. You should call somebody else. And I have somebody to tell them to call. And it doesn't happen very often. But um, this is one right here where I do, most of the time it's actually that I do know how to do it, but I don't have the equipment. Right here is one to throw in the towel. This is one that I will typically tell people, that's right. So we got all the equipment running, we got the compressor shits, we got whatever the job is, okay? These buildings have automated control systems in them. And 
I have long debated on whether or not to buy all of the different software programs. I work in buildings that are already set up. I know how to check control points. I know how to go into the computer. I know how to fix things in the computer program. But when you come to smaller places, they don't have workstations, they don't have uh, an access point for you to be able to get in there. And guess what? I don't either. Some of that software can cost upwards of about 2,000 bucks. If you're doing it all the time, and that's what you do, you should buy the right equipment. I opt to say, not my bag of tea. I don't have that equipment. And this is one right here. This equipment is, is very dependent to run the first stage cooling or the second stage cooling. And it depends on outside air temperature, humidity, uh, the load inside of the building, how many points are calling for cooling, how many points are calling for heating. And all of that is located in here. And it's as simple as having a software program and a little adapter you just hook up right to these two wires. And then you can see all of the different points in the system and you can get in there and change things. Now, if you know the right people, you can probably get that software for free. You can pick it up for 500 bucks maybe. It really depends on your dealer level and the price that they give you for the software. I just don't even play that game. If, if you want to have a building with all that stuff in it, call the computer guy when that breaks. And this is one right here where I'm not throwing in the towel. This building is cold. The <laughs> job's done. It's 70.1 degrees upstairs. But when this unit comes on and goes off and when Sally and Mark and Frank are all going to be asking for cooling or heating and all that. I didn't want to buy that software when I was 27. I don't want it when I'm 47. Just let somebody else do that. It's okay to tell somebody that it's not your area of expertise. You should know somebody who does know how to do it. You can't make somebody call them, but offer the number to them. Continue doing what you do best, which in my case is just about everything from a water cooler to a, a chiller or a boiler you can walk inside of. It just makes you more versatile. But you can be just a refrigeration man and have a very, very, very good living. You can be in all of these different little niches and just be really good at that and have a very good life, a very blessed and provided for life. Your family can really do well. Trust me. If you apply yourself, if you're going to get shocked or see some bugs or get burnt or scratch your head and God keeps asking you what's wrong and you tell him you're working on it, you can't handle the pressure, and you want to throw in the towel, this might not be your bag. Because you're not going to learn to throw in the towel. There's a difference between throwing in the towel and saying it's not your area of expertise.